We're at a turning point for a lot of these characters. I think we're gonna see huge shifts in the upcoming season. Spoilers if you aren't up to date with Abbott Elementary. Even though the B plot seemed low stakes, it actually held a lot of significance. Yuri is still out with Barbara, but she had so many lines that I was like, Maybe I like you. The unraise that roof line definitely had me on the floor. I think they did a good job of approaching the topic of gentrification. Because yes, you love staples and small businesses like this deli that they're going to. But I'm not going to hold you. Sometimes getting those gentrified stores are fire. I'm in LA right now and I had something from a store called like Manchego's Farm. And it was the best sandwich. I've ever had in my life. I would be conflicted if it was replacing a deli in my neighborhood. I think they approached this topic with grace. Well, the fact that Jacob was the one spearheading the resistance, but he also turned like everyone else. Jacob has a level of hope that I think a lot of the other teachers don't have, including Janine. And some of that could be because he's white, but I just think that that's the type of guy he is. He's also from Philly. But I love the running joke of Jacob caring too much. That scene where he walks up to the principal's secretary Terry and Greg and he says the blacks and they both just look up from what they're doing it's just so well timed and it reminds me that right now we are in what I think is going to be the best season of the series everyone has hit their stride and the jokes are just so good I couldn't find a picture from this episode but I was so happy to see that Manny was back I love that it's established that the district don't bang with Janine because I feel them because with both Manny and the district Janine didn't just decline their offer she led them on until the very last moment and then chose Abbott and Greg. Listen, I think Greg and Janine are super cute. Even in this episode, they had moments where I was like, oh yeah, I love them together. But hearing the soothing cadence of Manny again made me kind of want him to start dating Ava. And I just want him back on the show. I think he's so adorable and I think he brings a very interesting dynamic. Let's bring it back to Ava. I've been talking about her progress over the last couple seasons for a very long time. She is for sure my favorite character. She's funny, she's true to herself, and she's a blurred. I know she read comics. And if the show wasn't on ABC, I know canonically Ava loves Batman. That's neither here nor there. It's so easy for Ava, just like the audience, to write off everything that she does as hustling. But it's clear that Ava has established a true relationship with her team and with the students. And that's why the golf course was like, Abbott is the best school in this district, the most influential. Ava is a huge part of that. It was beautiful to see her recognized and the energy around it was so very different than when Greg got like teacher of the year. Because everyone believes that she deserves it. There was not one person who was like, yeah, why did you get that? Not even Barbara. Ava has been stepping up and I love that for her. Do y'all know what it means to have Ava ask Janine for help? You saw their connection a little bit in the ringworm episode where they kept on saying the same thing at the same time. And even when Janine was in the district, she would come in and visit her and talk to her more than the other teachers. Actually, she was the only one who didn't give Janine grief during her time at the district. That was officially established. Ava respects Janine. Listen, I very much enjoyed this episode. I could definitely see it setting up for major plot lines coming forward, but it didn't move me like the ringworm episode or the dad's beefing. Still incredible. TV, so I'm going to give it four out of five Frankie Flings.